Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and welcome to another Matchmaking Academy, the show where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. But don't worry, we're going to figure out what those reasons are and help you improve at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This time, our hero is going to be Ping. He is a Master Guardian 2 player, Dutz here. When asked about his favorite fish, he said, fish are friends, not food, which I believe is vegetarian propaganda perpetuated on children, which isn't even the right word. But it's still despicable. All right, so keep in mind, it's very brave to send this demo in, so don't make any disparaging comments uh, inside of the YouTube comments. You guys are ridiculous, seriously. Constantly saying things like, oh, how's this guy have that rank? He's so bad, blah. We're showing the bars of this that they want to improve on. So it's you know, one of the questions that Ping had here was how to clutch. So we're going to deal with two questions. He had how to clutch. You can hear this player, that's nice. There he goes, he got a shot. And how to deal with oppers. So, first one here is how to clutch. We see he's put into this 1v1 situation. So tense. So... Big part of Counter-Strike is you need patience. Ping most definitely has patience here. Waiting for this player to push into the site. Jumping up there was risky. Here's the player falling back. And still... Holding this position, 29, 28 seconds left. Now, one thing in Counter-Strike is you have to have an idea of timing. How long will it take this terrorist to get to B site? So he has to think right now, does he have time to get there and plant? And if he doesn't, just chill, all right? However, Ping goes after him and does go down. What a noob, uninstall and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's check that out a little bit closer. All right, we're looking at this a little bit closer. Right now, he's done damage to this player. He knows that he's hit this player. Look at his inventory. He has a nade and a flash. Ping does not leverage these, which is interesting. This player easily could have been taken down by a nade. Now, what he's not doing here is sort of um, paranoid about this opera. So he's just saying, you have to take this position. If you try to take this position, I'm taking you down. However, he has this player pinned to get away um, Slippery there has to go into a place where he's not going to be comfortable. One place he's not going to be comfortable is pushing short. So that's a place where Ping can set up his cross, his crosshair as well. One place he's not going to be comfortable is jumping over the side and going CT spawn. In which case, Ping could easily catch him midair or after he jumps, just peek him and shoot him. So really what Ping should have, should have done here is just kept him trapped. Delay him long enough to where Slippery has to push. You're going to force this player, because the time is on slippery side. He has to make the move. Force this player to push. We see that Ping gets a little bit too much, a little too comfortable here. And hiding behind this box. And he allows slippery to slip through his grasp. Right here. That was an opportunity where he could have killed this player if he stood a little bit up more, just had the patience to stay there and wait and wait and wait, seen that player trying to run away, and could have gotten the kill as he escaped. And we saw he tried to get that shot, but didn't happen. So Slippery gets away. At this point, we're at 21 seconds as the player is on side of the, uh, of the staircase. So let's hop in game and let's see if Slippery could have gotten the bomb plant. All right, I've got 21 seconds. I'll start running at 131. It'll take me till 110. Let's see if I can do it. Go the safe way, f or the, not the safe way first, and we're off! The way that is super exposed. Here we go, I'm not gonna do any bunny hops. Just gonna full run it with the bomb. You need three seconds to plant. Plenty of time! Now let's go the long way. All right, remember, 21 seconds. So I have until 1.40 to get this bomb planted. I need three seconds to plant it once I get in there. This is the safe way. So I'm not... Oh, I hit the... I hit the box. That could affect our timings. Visible there. And... Just able to get it. So he could have made it the safe way as well. But again, that timing, you probably aren't able to know. Exactly. Either way, our hero... Made the right call by, well, he should have let it away, but again, made the right call by watching down here and actually pushing down here, because that player could go and plant B. So, a good position. Actually, you know, engaging like that gets you killed. He got him killed. A lot of times it's okay to just let him plant the bomb and then do the 1v1. I mean, once you take this position here, 
you're kind of in a good position because you can watch the cross here and you know if he's going to go plant, you can listen above you. But at the same time, when 1v1, when the terrorist um, is able to get to the other bomb site, sometimes you just got to let him. So this situation may seem familiar to some of you. You're the B player, you're over here. Terrorists in the meantime decide to take A. Your team screws it up, you're in trouble, you have to clutch. So we see Terrorist Knight now trading to get into bomb site A. Pink staying at B like he should just in case now decides to rotate. In the meantime, Terrorists just have to take out one more player and there it is. It puts our man Ping into a one versus three scenario. Very common that this happens. So what do you do when you're in this situation? It's last round, there's no reason to save. Uh, in particular, a lot of times you may make the decision, okay, I'm just going to save and give them this round so I can buy next round. But since it's the last round of the half, our guy has to go for it. Now, what's interesting is something I really wanted to talk about and a mistake I see a lot of people make, Ping does not make. Um, however, I'm still going to talk about it anyway here. So this is nice. He's trying to hold these players off. He actually gets a nade kill. We hear that player up on Cat. He knows that there are two players left, and he only has intel for one. So he's still holding down this position, watching the cross, and again, doesn't continue to hold down this position. If the terrorists had the bomb at short, they would have planted by now. So he could think, he may be behind me, he may be going to A, and just have the, the intel instead turns just when the player crosses. It's not bad at all. There's nothing wrong with that. At this point, Terrorist could be at B or A, so a lot of times you just wait until that bomb is planted. Instead, Ping decides to go short. And right here is the critical point. He knows, he seems to think at least, that the bomb is planted at bomb site A. So what do you do in this situation? Something we see a lot of players do, which is just so mind-bending, is they freeze. They stop moving. Well, guess what? There's a ticking timer. There is a bomb that you need to defuse. This is serious business. So you really need to go, go, go. Get in there and make something happen. You can't walk around. You can't wait for the terrorists to push you because they don't have to. You are the one who has to aggress in this situation. Watch what happens when the terrorists are the ones who aggress in this situation, as four-door bubble here tries to do. What is he even doing? Where is he going? Terrorists could have easily stayed inside of the site and engaged this two-on-one when Ping decided to push. Instead, he runs up and tries to get into the, the, the sneaky spot there in the corner. And rightfully dies as a result. You deserved that, sir. You deserved it for your foolishness. Okay, so now we have a one versus one. He knows the same guy he's going up against, who's an opera. This is when you gotta go, go, go. You gotta make something happen. Look at what you have. He has a flash. Okay, one flash. That's all I have. I need to flash this player. I need to take some position. Because when you're coming up against an opera, like we're gonna talk about just a little bit later, you need to flash them out, smoke them out, leverage what you have. Otherwise, you're in some serious trouble. So let's see what uh, Ping does here. He does engage. There's the flash. Let's actually take time to see if Slippery gets flashed. Yes, and it forces him to look away, and that is how you take position against an opera. So let's get back on uh, ping now. Very nice. So the flash worked. It forced the opera to look away or change positions, allowed ping to move out there. But guess what now, buddy? You are super exposed where you're standing. You do not want to engage an opera from this position. It may have been a better idea to jump into the pit and uh, run up the ramp uh, to take this guy out. Because then you're forcing the op to engage at a close position. Where Ping is gone, he is forcing this opera to engage at a long position. So you always have to keep a good idea of the, the distancing and the position on those players. So let's think about this. Which is a better way to engage? Running up short where I have no way, I, there's nowhere that Ping can take cover. Slippery can take all the cover he wants behind those boxes. If, if Ping jumped down and uh, went up the ramp, he would have forced this player to engage at close distance or cause Slippery to run short, in which case Slippery would be the one out of position. So going this way was not the right decision, and he had a few chances to jump into the pit as well. And he's missing the shots. Eventually does go down. And rightfully so. All right, so a lot of things, that just little things like that could, that could be improved there. The shooting, obviously, not hitting those shots, was moving a little bit while he was 
um, shooting, so not you know the coordination between the left and right hands, which is something we've talked about in the past as well. So now let's talk about, we've talked about it a little bit here, but it seems to be a recurring theme in this demo, how to deal with an opera. Check out what our man Ping had to deal with here. All right, this is round 20. Check it out. We have two ops. One, two. All right, jumping forward in time to the next round. We have three ops. One, two, three. Okay, jumping forward in time to the next round. We have four ops. One, two, three, four. Goodness. Jumping forward in time to the next round, we have... Oh, wait, they won that one. Never mind. So let's use this one, this round, as a case study. How to deal with an opera. There's the flash. And... Well, that's never fun. Let's hop in game. I'm a terrorist, and there's a bad guy right there with an op, but I want to go over there, so what do I do? So, running out here, boom, you're dead. Not a good idea. Now, how do you deal with an opera is the question. You have to leverage your inventory. Look at this. We got flashes, we got smokes, we got everything at the start of the game. The best way to deal with an opera, let's, let's go over three different ways to deal with this guy. The first way is pretty, uh, uh, probably the most difficult to do, but the most simple in theory. So it's pre-shooting him. Moving here, oh gosh, he has the advantage. However, if I line it up beforehand, if I'm good enough in my map sense that I know that's exactly where the head is going to be of an opera and they tend to play that position, all I got to do is, boom, headshot, and they're dead. That's it. And you can get them before they can shoot you based on the reaction time. See, that would that would have been a miss. I would have died there. And also, he could be standing just a little bit off of that, so it's not easy to do. Now, let's look at some more practical ways to deal with it. I mean, that is a way. One way is to leverage your smoke. So you can smoke out the position, force him to change positions. Um, you can smoke out that opposition really easily. You don't even have to like line up or, or do anything like that, but it's a super simple smoke. You're going to get it nearly every time, but here's just a way you can reproduce it. Look at the shadow on the ground. Line up with the shadow as you're looking at the door. Look up until you're parallel with the point on there from the middle of the door. And then let go of it. And that should smoke out that opera by the time you get there, like right now. And it pops as soon as you turn the corner. So if he even if he moves to the side, you're already positioned to watch here. However, he could shoot through that smoke um, if he knows what you're doing and he knows the timing that, oh gosh, as soon as the smoke pops, I can shoot and he'll be dead. Either way, that's how you can get out because you force that opera back and you move and you take this position. So now you have this position, you have to deal with the opera again. And that's where, you know, you have teammates, you have other things, you got flashes as well. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the flash. How do you deal with this guy with a flash? We saw our hero throw the flash over the top like that. And you can kind of see that one coming. It's a good, it's a good flash to throw. It will work. But he threw it way too soon. The opera wasn't even positioned. He's got to be waiting there when you throw the flash scoped in so he can't avoid it. So how do you do that and take the position at the same time? So yeah, anyway, so in theory, like here's how to take out an opera with a flash. If the flash goes off or if he sees the flash, he's forced to fall back. If the flash hits him, he's forced to fall back. If he sees that a flash is coming, he has to look away. And when he looks away, he knows, oh gosh, I just lost the position. I need to fall back. And he'll take a different position after the flash goes off. So you're just taking this spot. Then you have to deal with him maybe at car or maybe back in, back in sight. But again, I mean, you have taken this position. You have succeeded in pushing the opera back. It's not really about killing the opera. It's about taking the position. Operas are good at holding down position. That's their main thing. So how to do that? You need a teammate. One guy is running in here really quickly. In the meantime, when he hits this point, that's when your teammate throws the flash over. So stand like about the same spot and then throw the flash over. You, even want to, you may want to be even further back like that. So he doesn't see it coming. Either way, he's going to see it coming. As soon as the flash goes off, like the flash, let's say, okay, flash goes off. That's when you push out and you take that position. So those are kind of like the three ways to deal with an opera. Notice only one of them had you killing the opera. Once you get that opera into a bad position, like let's say he's right around this corner, then you can kill the opera. But mainly it's just about, again, taking position. Big thanks to Ping for sending in this demo. Thank you folks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We learned what not to do. That's no fun. Let's get an owl vision.
I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer. <laughs>